stop smoking stop tobacco i am dr deepthi mishra i am a cancer surgeon currently working at thangam cancer center namakkal so on this word no tobacco day i thought to give you a story story of joy or story of sadness we will decide at the end so on an average indian life what happens when we are child we are under the control of under the guidance of our parents as soon as our youth starts maybe around 16 17 years then we start building up some dreams we start thinking of uh, some new things and so many things affected at that time our peer group what are we are seeing in cinemas and all all this affect us when we are reaching to the age of 20 we start understanding the responsibility we start acquiring new thing around 40% of indian population and in that age group they are attracted to the smoke tobacco of any form it can be smoking it can be smokeless tobacco and it is it is not related to any socio economic status middle lower or higher everybody get equally attracted to these all products somehow and that is a very important age in our lives so, so suppose somebody starts earning at that age of 20s we start doing that because it's a very common and very important age in our life we start our work somebody get married and on these things suppose you are spending you start spending something for the smoking per, per day smoking or per day one cigarette which are on average cost around 5000 in a month and you start you enjoy that pleasure and you keep on going with that smoking when you reach to age of 30 so around you spend 6 lakhs in that in those 10 years and the smoking it gives you around 30 minutes or one hour of pleasure you feel very happy you feel uh, stress free you think uh, you are king or queen of the whole area but we we never realize what is in which way it is harming us because problem with the tobacco is addiction so there is a substance known as nic- nicotine which is a pleasure giving substance which most of the people enjoy and they think again the sense of pleasure come by that so we are happy we are happy with the family we get kids we, we enjoy our um, job and all and we never realize the another thing which we have kept in as our family member which can be a cigarette which can be a gutka we reach to 30s 30s the same thing is going on we never realize okay again we are we are just nurturing some enemy inside our home inside our family the life goes on for 20 years it doesn't cause anything and we are also happy these are advertisement or any uh, precautionary notice are coming don't use tobacco and all these all are false thing we are in the sense of think that okay we can win anything i will not get any disease i am the fittest like there so many things are there in our mind at that time but as soon as we reach to the 40s so 40 is a very important timeline in our life in our body there are many changes happen in 40 years and this tobacco now if you have somebody has started at the age of 20 this 20 years you have the effect of tobacco in any form and when we reach to the age of 40 our physical changes our mental changes changes caused by this tobacco all combined and this is the age we get affected mostly we start getting affected so you would have kept savings for your retirement life you would have some plan but okay somebody get diagnosed with the cancer few of them or rather most of them first they get scared of that not only because of the disease they think how will i afford this treatment and to some extent it is true also there are lot many schemes now government has given lot many support to the society to the patients to uh, carry forward the treatment of the cancer but it is not sufficient why so first of all the treatment itself is costly when it is associated with other diseases like somebody is smoking they'll not only get this cancer they'll get other diseases also like diabetes hypertension and all so the person must be taking all these medications so economic burden is very high at the end we realize at that time we have already been a slave of this smoke or slave of this tobacco for last 30 to 40 years and in one day we cannot revert it back many patients come and then we ask when did you smoke class they tell 3 days back we have stopped the last 3 days so we always tell whatever you have done in last 30 to 40 years these 3 days cannot change it so it is like a life planning the most of us plan our life so why can't we plan our future we cannot blame others we cannot tell government we cannot tell other society or anybody else that this is the cause of my tension this is because of that i am smoking because of that i am using tobacco we can never blame in our life 
So this is our and only our responsibility that we have to think now from now otherwise this tobacco it is a silent killer it will kill anybody it will kill anybody silently and you will never realize why what has it done so this is the high time to think about it to build a nation we need healthy individuals we do not need a burdened population the burdened nation with lot many people with the cancer and our government even we as a doctors and we as a social uh, members we as a members of this society we cannot fight it because the number will be huge so my message is just think about your journey of future as you save for the future you think about the future also because the health is the most valuable thing and you cannot buy everything by the money even if you are the wealthy most you cannot buy your health back by that money sometimes the situations are like that even if you have money we cannot treat you so it's a double edged sword we have to fight now we have to give time every day we have to think effect of this smoking effect of this tobacco and say big no to tobacco big no to smoking